Thank you for joining us. I'm Jacqueline Davies with Science Direct, and I'm here with Maria Recto, Vice President and Financial Advisor for Zions Wealth Advisors, and we're talking today about women's role in managing family investments. Maria, I'm so glad to have a chance to talk with you today. My pleasure. How do you see women taking part in a family's wealth management? I see women needing to be more involved in managing their family's wealth, and this is especially true for women because they tend to face two very unique situations. The death of a spouse, uh, statistically women will outlive men, and the second part is divorce. So in the case of losing a spouse, this will likely occur among women over the age of 50. Uh, this age bracket and older are, have uh, typically not been involved in managing their household's assets. Uh, with the case of a divorced woman, she will likely face similar challenges to that of a widow, uh, but in addition, she may also face the risk of losing, say, her home, uh, loss of income or reduced income. So I think in both of these situations, uh, women uh, might find themselves suddenly in charge, mm -hmm. although they're ill-equipped to make sound investment decisions or sound financial decisions. How can a woman become more involved? I think okay. women, first of all, they need to know what they have, uh, what they owe, and what they own. That's listing their assets and liabilities. You know, that's the first step. Um, taking part in creating an emergency plan for their family, mm -hmm. being part of uh, setting the goals for their short-term and long-term planning, as well as understanding and knowing where important documents are kept. Uh, it should be kept organized and beneficiaries are updated. And I think as a general uh, understand, have a general understanding of um, the market trends because that may have an impact on their overall investments. With more women in the workforce, do you see a change in the way a couple may invest or the way a couple may look at their finances? You know, I, I've actually uh, seen maybe a couple of trends out there. Younger couples, um, particularly women, are coming in more informed about mm -hmm. their household finances. They're also taking on a more active role in managing their situation in contrast to their peers in that age of 50 plus group. And I think you know this means that they're partnering with their spouses and they're able to position what is important to them. Uh, these are probably the same women that have seen their mothers and grandmothers go through the challenges of um, being passive participants in their own households and they're learning from it. The other trend that I see with more women working uh, or being part of the workforce and also active contributors to the family's income is they're coming in with their independent goals mm -hmm. and these goals are have very different risk um, that they're willing to take given you know the different assigned uh, goals for each one of them. Additionally, I also see women are talking more and are, are open in discussing some of these concerns that they have, which is, you know, they're going to be left by themselves sometime in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. um, maybe their long-term care needs, and also, you know, issues of them taking care of their parents, elderly parents. How do you see your role as a financial advisor and an educator to these women? I think I can sum up my role in two main points. Uh, first, I'm, uh, as an advisor, I'm here to understand my clients' needs and their concerns, what mm -hmm. keeps them up at night. Um, and with working with women, this means understanding what their retirement concerns are, mm -hmm. understanding um, how do we save for their children's education, uh, helping them create financial plan after the death of a spouse or after a divorce, and again, planning for their long-term care needs. And finally, I'm here as a partner mm -hmm. to my uh, clients and be a resource uh, in directing them to the most appropriate course of action. Thank you so much for joining us today, Maria. It's been so nice speaking with you. My pleasure. I'm Jacqueline Davies, and today we've been talking with Maria Recto about women and family wealth advisement, and we'll hope to see you again next time.